Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Off Duty Ninja and he's in his Pajetto 65. This is the tier 10 version of the um, the Italian line and this is a tier 10 game on Lakeville. It's in counter battle. And uh, that's all we have time for before we get into the action. By the way, comment in the in the comments if you like this starting in the action rather than starting at the countdown thing going. I'm going to try it out and see how it goes for a few games. So, he's already loaded up and it already got a target. It turns out he's not going to shoot the target? <laughs> no, in fact, he's going to miss the E75. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I get for saying we're already in the action. Oh, yeah, that's a great target. He does load all the way up. No, he didn't, actually. He fired that just shy of being loaded. Which is unfortunate, because it's going to take a while for him to load back up again. Uh, but he wasn't spotted, which is the main thing. Because, of course, I mean, he's in... What? Is this thing a heavy tank or medium tank? I know it starts off the line as a medium tank. Does it change halfway through? I feel like it doesn't. But I also feel like if I decide to tell everybody it's a medium tank, I'm going to get uh, <laughs> told I'm an idiot. So we're just going to go with, it's a medium tank, and go from there. Um, yeah, so uh, I was about to say something, and then poof, out of my head, gone forever. Oh, right. Do you guys like the, um, uh, on the KV2 video I posted a little while ago, there was a poll. If you guys like, uh, or if you guys could please tell me what you want on it. Um, I post a poll on this one too, and just kind of average out the results. But I just want to know if you guys want shorter videos, longer videos, or you don't care. And we'll go from there. If everybody wants shorter videos, then we'll start making the video shorter. And if they, everybody doesn't care, then we, we won't kind of thing, right? Um, it's just that I've got requests for both ends. So that's just how <laughs> it goes. Okay. Moving right along. Uh, it looks like this E100 is just... It's either AFK or it's decided it's going to hold the base in a really weird location. And I'm betting it's probably AFK. Um, but unfortunately, he can't get a beat on it. So it's, in fact, he's going to back up on the back of this rock and get a great shot on this M103. Who's just parked side on as we unload into the poor guy? Who, I mean, you can't do anything about this because of the the way he's uh, parked. E seventy five behind him is parked at a also superb angle. Actually, E seventy five wasn't in a, at a bad angle until he started turning his turret. Well, but M one three turret. We can go through that like butter. So let's go through that. Looking to track him doesn't track him. Notice how, oh, I was gonna say, notice how he's waiting for his ammo to reload before he fires, because that is the fastest way for him to get ammo out. Um, these auto reloaders, they're really weird to try and figure out, but basically the fastest way uh, to, best way to use them is as a single shot tank and just wait for them to reload, except when you know you can burst an opponent down, and then you just clip out your mag as much as you need to. Take the opponent down and then fully reload. Um, it's not always the way it works, but uh, it is one of the best ways to get damage out. So we're going to speed this up for a little bit because otherwise it's going to be forever for him to reload before he can shoot again. Um, and we just don't have all that much time right now. Oh, we've finally been spotted by the standard B who gets actually a quite a bit of damage out onto us. But in return, we dealt quite a bit to him too. So if he was to continue this trade, he would die first. And that's really the goal, is to have the enemy die first, right? Um, Tortoise looks like it's just going to eek through the cap right as we reload. And that should be a dead tortoise. Yep. Uh, now looking for a dead E-75. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit again because I'm trying to keep this particular video under 10 minutes. If you guys want that, then, you know, again, tell me. If you don't, again, tell me. I'm just currently going by the watch times and the 
and how long people watch the videos for. And um, most people watch the videos for less than six minutes. So, oddly enough, right now I'm thinking about keeping the videos under ten minutes. But if uh, you guys love my videos being longer, then the only fans that are going to matter are the ones that are going to talk to me. So, yeah. Ooh, shooting through cover at the tortoise. And he's just going to unload two shells. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't unload anything else if I were him because of the fact that you don't know. And this thing, you know, it takes so long to reload the entire clip. It looks like both shells connected and went in, though. Which is awesome. As he puts two more shells into it. Uh, he's not going to be able to put the third because of the fact that it turned. And blind, you can't fire into a Taurus. Um, I mean, you can. But you won't do anything. Because nine times out of ten, you're just going to bounce. If you were fully loaded, you could see its side and then it vanished. It'd be worth putting a couple of shells into. It probably can't turn fast enough before you put two shells into it. But it's not worth firing into what you know is the front. Good lord, it's also probably not worth running in front of uh, artillery's guns. And I mean, literally, he was literally in front of that gun. <laughs> if, if his platoon mate in the batch had have fired right then, he would have died. Well, maybe not died, but he would have been in some serious pain. It probably would not have been worth it. Oh well. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Oops. He finds the standard B. Um, and then starts reloading. And now there's only four enemy tanks left. We know where uh, many of them are. There's only the Conway that we haven't seen in a little while. And there we go. We're rushing over and going to go find the TVP. TVP never stood a chance. Oh, oh, 261, counter batteries, the M53. I don't know if he was lit or not. It's possible he was lit. Uh, the TVP did make the charge. It's possible that he found some gap in the cover and saw... Ooh. Hello, Mr. Conway. How are you doing today? No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, yes. Okay, fine. It all works out in the end. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I thought we were toast right then. I mean... <laughs> that should have been two shells. But the low roll at the end, and then you tracked him. Oh, counter takes out his platoon mate, Merker. And now he is alone. Now he is only against a tortoise. And a, and a 261. But it's still a tortoise, right? So he's gone high in order to avoid as much tortoise seed stuff as possible. And. Oh, God, just the wreckage around this church. There's always wreckage around this church, but more so an encounter. It just becomes, like, truly impressive the amount of dead tanks that are here. Uh, which really tells you if you want to live in this <laughs> map. Don't be around the church. Um, unfortunately, do we? I can't still be stunned. Yeah, no, it's, it's he. He's gotta have all his people back. Uh, so I don't know where the Taurus. Oh no, we know exactly where the Taurus is. But we also know the two six one is probably still around here, and knowing where the two six one is means that we can just come up behind him. And miss him completely because they're both in the city. Okay, well, we're going to speed this up because we know where they both are. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Tortoise tracks the tortoise. Um, we're going to give him credit and say he meant to track the tortoise right there. And then comes around and puts his final shell into the 261. And that is game! That was brilliant. Mastery badge, first class. He also gets fire for effect, bruiser, duelist. Uh, the Langaze medal for killing, or is it killing? Yeah. You have to kill four enemy tanks. They're in your base cap. <laughs> Which I've seen like once and never, right? 
<laughs> the Radley Walters, high caliber, top gun. Holy smokes, that game. I mean, this tank kind of sneaks up on you with the amount of damage it can truly dish out. Wait. Oh, the Conway. Right. I was like, wait, when did we... <laughs> I thought for a second that was a 4005, but it's not. Um, yeah. Just, it didn't ever feel like he was dishing out this much damage until you get to the end and go, oh, that's almost 8,000 damage and 1,200 base experience. This was an epic carry without him in this game. This game would have gotten so much worse and probably been carried by our TVP friend. So now you guys start to understand how powerful that middle road is, right? You saw how few tanks died on it and if so many died in the city because you can just use that middle road to dominate the map. Um, wow. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. Still made a ton of credits because he fired so little gold. Um... And got damaged so little. Well done. And, uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the bonus clips. And we'll see you next time. This is IOE throughout.